All right, Coach, you want to start us off with an opening statement, and then we will go for questions. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know what to say. I, I didn't have any expectations. I wanted to just see what happened. You know, some good, some bad, but um, great, great to get a win. I'm, I'm happy for our guys. Um, Seton Hall obviously is a very, very good team, and um, uh, I'm just happy to, to, that we survived. So I'm, I'm happy for our guys. All right, we'll open it up for questions. If anybody has any, please raise your hands or write in the chat and we will get to you. Joe, Giuliano, go ahead. Hey, Jay, can you hear me? I do, Joe. Um, did you feel that the, the team might have lost the, some, some wind and uh, couldn't find a second wind late after you came up, went up by nine and. Yeah, a lot, lot of, a lot of little things, Joe, like I, I don't want to waste your time listing them all, but you know, one of the things that we, we pride ourselves in is, is, is doing the little things right. And, um, you know, we, we just, we, we made a lot of little mistakes, a, a lot of them Seton Hall uh, exploited uh, and, and we're very smart about, but um, we definitely weren't, uh, you know, digging in and, and, and grinding it out at the end. I think we're more surviving at the end. Thanks. Terry, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Hey, Terry. You know, I mean, you said some good things, some bad things. What were some of the good things you saw considering you hadn't played in 27 days? I, I'm just, I, I, I am truly amazed at J Jermaine Samuels. I mean, he, he literally practiced one day, had COVID and, and couldn't practice uh, until yesterday. To come out and be able to play like that is incredible. Colin Gillespie, um, you know, four days of practice, you know, played, you know, I, I know I took him out a couple times, but he probably played 38 minutes. Um, but I, I took him out and just turned around right away and put him back in, you know. Th those guys, stamina, um, you know, Cole Swider hitting hitting a big free throw there was was huge. Um, that's probably about it. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot. <laughs> Seton Hall is good. Like, I thought we did a good job on Roden in the second half. He killed us in the first half. I thought we did a good job on him in the second half, but then Mama really got it going in the second half. You know, Caleb only played, I think, 11 minutes. Was that just due to the fouls, or is the calf still kind of slowing him? Just everything. Bit? Everything. He's He had – he had a little bit, he had more symptoms than may know. It, 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 I think it, um, I think it affected him mentally more. Um, uh, you know, and he had been out because of his calf also. So he was, he was really, um, he just was trying to gut it out. He was, he was not in shape to play. Thanks, Jay. You got it, buddy. John Fanta, go ahead. Jay, to your point about about your main and for him and Colin, you know, to be able to combine for 42 points in this game, just in a season like this one and in a game like this one, what can you say about your seniors' ability to live up to their class? I'm I'm really proud of Jermaine. I'm proud of him, and I'm I'm truly am amazed. I mean, I, I you know, be out two weeks and. And, and practice one day and be able to play like that. I mean, he was, he was efficient offensively. He was, he had great stamina. He asked for maybe two or three times to come out like, you know, that, that he normally does not. And, and, and one of the times I told him, no, just suck it up, you know, and, and he did and he, and he made a big play. So I'm really impressed with his, his mental toughness and, 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 um, and I'm, just his, gifted athleticism to be able to do that today. Dan, go ahead. Thanks, Jay. Um, it was a bit okay. of a fast, hey, it was a bit of a fast start uh, for you guys. Were you surprised that, um, you know, both teams, you know, Seton Hall had lost a game recently too. Were you surprised, you know, how accurate and, and I guess energetic, I guess you guys came out to start or yeah. like there was a lot of pent up, uh, <laughs> basketball player. no I, th I really think both teams were, were dialed in for that game and came out really executing I mean 
some of the shots that Mamu hit early and, and Roden hit were, were tough shots, you know, and, and Colin hit some tough shots early. But I thought both teams were really ready to play. You know, I think they did wear us down a little bit at the end. I, I prob- if that game would have went into overtime, we probably would have been in, in a lot of trouble. Um, but I agree with you. I, I think that game in the first half was pretty good defense, but a great offense. David Melander, go ahead. Hey, Jay, as you know, when these teams are coming off a long pause, there's always concerns about how their condition is for the start of the game and then how they finish. How do you think you guys looked overall tonight? I think it was, I think a couple guys like, um, I think I think Jeremiah Robinson was really affected. Like he's one of those guys that um, he's got a routine. Like he's already like an NBA player, you know, you, He's got like the, he shoots at a certain time. He he works out. He lifts. He does his stretching. You know he, he couldn't do it. You know I could see it affected him. As I said, Caleb Daniels it really affected. And then you got a guy like Jermaine and Colin to be able to come out and play like that is is incredible. So I, I think different guys were. I think Eric Dixon was a little a step step behind. You know coming off an injury and not not practicing that much. Um, so I I, did, I, I could go. Eat, through the roster, each guy was probably affected differently. Austin, go ahead. Uh, hey, Jay. Uh, in the past few years, you know, we talk and, and we've seen Jermaine kind of be a little timid sometimes on the offensive end. You kind of kicked it up aggressively here tonight. Do you like what you saw out of him on the offensive end? Yeah, I loved it. I, I, I um, you know, I felt like, you know, in the Mar- going into the Marquette game, he was really starting to get a feel for our offense. And, and, and we, we're using him in a different way this year. And, um, you know, it was a shame, you know, we got shut down. But it was really impressive how quickly he actually took a step from the Marquette game. Um, and it was, it, was, it was really impressive. All right. Thanks, Jay. You got it. CJ, go ahead. Coach, hope you're doing well. Hey, CJ. So, um, just quickly, uh, Cole Swider and Brandon Slater were inserted into the starting lineup tonight. Is that simply because uh, Caleb and Jermaine just didn't have that much time to practice this week? Yeah, you know, we we practiced Thursday, Friday, and Sunday without Caleb and Jermaine. So, we didn't – they had to get cleared for myocarditis on Monday. So, we didn't know if they are going to be able to play. So, we, we said on, on Thursday, we're going to go into this game as if they can't play. And this will be our starting lineup. So we practiced that way. So then when they got cleared Monday, we moved practice back and got them in there. But you, you didn't know what they were going to feel like after one day, right? That's why, as I said, I think, it, I think Caleb was really affected. Jermaine was incredible. You know, three steals for Brandon Slater tonight, though. Um, what are your thoughts on his defense? Brandon's getting better and better every game. He, he was really effective. He had a big three. Um, and, and you're right, defensively, he, he was really uh, effective. You know, we got him in at the end, some offense, defense, but he's getting better every day, and he's important for us. Thank you. Austin, go ahead. Uh, Jay, uh, last question for me. No for worries. you, uh, feel good to get back on the sidelines today? Yeah, it really did. It, it Just going through a game day routine and – you know, it started with practice, just being going to practice, having, you know, somewhere you had to be and and uh, being with the team was was really enjoyable. I think we all are really grateful just to be able to be playing. I think we would have been upset if we lost, but I think we would have maybe not as upset as you normally are after us. I think we're, we're more grateful to be playing. I appreciate it. Thanks, Austin. Does anyone else have a question for coach before we switch to the players? If so, just unmute yourself. All right, that looks like all. Thank you very Thank much, you coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Jay. What's up, Colin? Uh, first game back in almost a month, and it goes down to the wire. Uh, what are your thoughts about the game and uh, specifically that finish? Yeah, um, I thought it was a, a good game between two really tough teams. Uh, Seton Hall battled the entire game, and Uh, made it tough for us, but um, we're just getting our legs back underneath us, obviously, after being away for for a few weeks. So um, I thought we did uh, as best we could on our first game back, and we'll just keep creating habits. 
um, as we keep practicing more for these situations. Dan Gelston, go ahead. Colin, how did you guys, or you specifically even, deal with the long layoff and, and what kind of things did you do to kind of stay engaged, I guess, when you weren't able to, weren't able to play basketball? Yeah, um, we were able to actually get in the gym by ourselves alone. So um, there's a lot of working out by ourselves, um, trying to do as much strength and conditioning stuff as we could to stay in shape um, for this, to prepare for this. Um, but obviously it's going to come with time and, and practices. And I think we did a good job leading up to the game for as best we can of trying to prepare ourselves for game situations again. Terry, go ahead. Hey, Colin. I mean, how did you feel physically? Did, you know, are you a little more winded now than maybe maybe you would be at this time of year? Or? I think it's it's difficult because the layoff. It's not really expected. It's new for everyone. Um, after being off for four weeks, three or four weeks, you're not in game situations, and it's hard to really. Um, try to emulate what game situations are, game conditioning is. So um, I think with the more games that we play, the more practices we get, we'll get our legs back, we'll get our wind back um, with conditioning. And what about Jermaine's performance? You know, he came back practice one day and had a monster game for you guys. Yeah, that was pretty incredible, honestly. I don't really know how he did it with one day of practice. Um, it, it was really impressive. Thanks, Colin. Thank you. John Fanta, go ahead. Uh, Colin, uh, Terry just kind of brought up with, with Jermaine, but I'm just curious, like, when you go through what you've just gone through, how do you feel right now? And, and can you kind of reflect on the kind of game this was? You guys were up nine. You know, it looked like you were right there about to, to pull away, and then they do what they do, I guess. Just what kind of game was this? Yeah, it was, a, it was a big attitude game for us, a grinded out game. Um, they made tough shots down the stretch and, and we weren't making our shots, but um, we had to get back on defense and try to get stops. And um, it was just a grinded out game. We know Seton Hall, how they are. They're tough, they're physical, and they're, they're not going to stop coming at you no matter if they're down uh, nine or 15 or they're down two. Um, that's the type of league this is, the Big East. Um, you're going to get everybody's best shot every night. Um, it's a competitive league. So um, we just grinded it out as best as we could, and, and we were able to come away with a win. Can you speak to, for you and Jermaine, um, what it means when you've gone through what you've gone through to be seniors, set the tone for everybody else? Yeah, um, Jermaine did a great job of that tonight, uh, coming off the bench tonight because he was out for a while and he only had one practice back. Um, but that's what, that's our job as seniors. Our job is to play Villanova basketball for 40 minutes and kind of set the tone for the rest of the team um, with our energy, um, with our attention to detail, with every little thing that we do and our habits. And our habits will come back as a team on the defensive end and on, a, and on the offensive end um, with time, within, within practice and within game situations. But um, Jermaine did a great job tonight of leading and um, leading by example and, and leading vocally. Do you feel like you would any other, like after a game or when you haven't played in this long, is there a major difference right now in your legs and everything? Yeah, I mean, it was a little different um, after today because you've just been out, off for so long and you really haven't had that type of um, running up and down for that long because practices aren't, aren't that long um, in the middle of the season. It's kind of just an hour and a half, two hours, two hours. Uh, getting in everything that we can and, and trying to maintain our, our wind and our legs. But um, I'll be good. I'll get treatment tomorrow and, and we'll be good to go. CJ, go ahead. You know, Colin, you, you talk about getting your wind back and your legs back, but you guys actually came out tonight with a lot of fire. You know, there was energy by yourselves. What do you attribute that to? Just being off for four weeks, being away from the game. Um, it's, it's hard when you're in a hotel room, you're watching everybody else play. So, um, we were excited to finally be back together playing on the same court against another team. Jermaine, congrats on the win. Uh, can you reflect on what the last 36 hours or so has been like for you from 
finding out that you're cleared to right now? Um, find, as soon as I found out I was clear, I was, I was uh, extremely excited to, you know, take the floor um, and just go out there and try to contribute any way I could. Um, I know those guys were, were working hard and um, just to be back and, you know, contribute was the most important thing to me. Um, that's the only thing that was on my mind. And then following up to the game, um, again, my, my mindset was just to go in and contribute and uh, play Villanova basketball, try to set the tone as best as I could, and um, just try to lead by example. Terry, go ahead. You know, Jermaine, you only had one day of practice for this game. How were you able to go out and do what you did on just one day of practice? Um, just trying to make the right basketball play and uh, knowing that my teammates and uh, teammates and coaches trust me um, and just work doing, uh, trying to make the right play within the offense and um, just trying to stay aggressive as well. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That was, that was the mindset. And how did you feel physically? I mean, were you any more winded than normal or? Um, no, I actually feel uh, pretty good. Um, being out, having time to stretch, having time to rest. Um, just to you know, hit the reset button, kind of, um, and then having that that one that one day, just getting getting reacclimated and knowing that the coaches were were looking out for me and Caleb as well when it was time to you know ask for one to to come out of the game and um, just being being confident and knowing that they had our back. I heard that you you did ask one time and coach told you to just kind of suck it up. Yeah, that that did happen, <laughs> um, but. It, it's all good. Um, I, I still have more left in the tank. Thank you. Dan, go ahead. Jermaine, how did you feel, you know, physically during your absence? I mean, how much did it really affect you? And um, how did you pass the time, really, while you were in isolation? Um, honestly, um, I just... Uh, just hung out, um, you know, you get a lot of, a lot of YouTube and a lot of video games and just to try to pass the time, music, things like that. Um, and then as far as, you know, my legs and everything like that, uh, I, I, I just felt great um, all around, um, upper body, lower body. And I, I think you can contribute that to the time off and also uh, the coaches preparing us um, for the road ahead. Mike Jensen, go ahead. Jermaine, would you say that the COVID was tougher on you mentally or physically? Uh, definitely mentally. Um, being out for so long um, definitely took its toll on not even just me, just the team in general. Um, but I think it is definitely it definitely has brought us closer. How would it kind of play with your head? Because you never know. Um, you know, just trying to praying that no one else uh, tests positive, um, being as safe as possible, also being distant from the teammates, coaches. You know, uh, it's, it's tough. It's definitely tough, but we stayed positive. Uh, we had a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of FaceTime calls, uh, a lot of interacting with each other over the phone. So it did it did uh, help out a little bit. Is, is Given the fact that you couldn't know how you'd play with one day, you, you, you couldn't really have expectations does that did that just allow you just to kind of get out there and let the game come to you a little bit? Yeah, honestly, um, that's that's honestly um, where where our mindset was. We knew we knew we've been out for a while, and um, it was all about just trying to play Villanova basketball as best as we could. Thanks, CJ. Go ahead. Now, Jermaine, you said uh, you're watching a lot of YouTube videos over the over the pause, right? Uh, I mean, were you watching Kevin Durant videos? I mean, uh, it seems like you haven't shot the ball, uh, especially from deep that well in a while. Um, how did it feel to see the ball go through the net? Uh, it felt great. Um, honestly, we uh, the coaching staff has been working real, real hard, um, you know, with me and uh, allowing me to to go in and, you know, just try to be as, as confident as possible. And um uh, watching videos definitely, you know, inspires you. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, the coaching staff making me pay, pay attention to details. Austin, go ahead. 
Jermaine, were you surprised after the, the layoff you guys had, you guys came out with that offensive firepower, putting up a lot of points early. Were you surprised by that? Um, yes and no. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I was surprised, but I also know what we're, what we're capable of uh, as a team. And um, whatever, whatever, however, if we were hot or if we were cold, our, our main goal is to play Illinois basketball for 40 minutes. All right, thank you. Mike Jensen, go ahead. Yes, so was that a foul on Seton Hall at the end? Um, from my end, it looked like Cole got, got hit, but I mean, it's the, it's the ref's judgment call. Uh, 